Yo, once again, favorite podcaster of all time because I just pick bars. Bars, nigga. If you like, subscribe, share, please give it to other people because they can understand and get educated on all things that all matter, especially the fight game. Let's talk about it. Man, why is Francis Nagano ranked? Like, what, what? How does it occur? Because I look at everything and I analyze and I look at why people do things and I'm like, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. But when I look at this, this makes zero sense because what we saw, or hypothetically, what was put out there is. Tyson Fury beat Francis Nagano. So thus, if Francis loses to Tyson Fury, like, doesn't that mean that Tyson's better, right? And for apparently there's a top 10 for a reason. So because there's a top 10 that exists, that means that those 10 guys actually did something to put themselves in the position to be able to fight the champion who has said Tyson Fury how does Francis Nugano, by losing to uh, Tyson Fury, then becomes unranked into a ranked position? Because then it also begs the question, how did he get the position in the first place? Because theoretically, if you are in the top 10, that means that you're eligible to challenge for said championship. How do you then go from unranked to losing to the guy who's the top rank to falling down into being the position of somebody in the top 10? That, that's very confusing. Because it would make more sense if he beat him, he didn't because of championship, then Tyson fall back down to the rank, then you push somebody out. But then it's like, okay, how good is Francis? And then if Francis can be a complete novice, which is 0-0, how does he therefore rank amongst guys who are actually ranked, that have actually done this their whole life, career, and built up? Am I making sense? I hope I'm making sense. I always make sense. Because I'm a fucking teacher. So... By giving Francis a position within the top 10, we now have to beg the question, okay, who else is unranked that should just come in and just take somebody else's position? Because theoretically, we got Mr. Jake Paul who's been saying, hey, I can fight all the champions, give me any guy. He should technically be ranked higher in the whatever it's called, the WBC, blah, blah, blah. But how does he not get a position in the rank? Because I think they, they put him down like, Jesus, like probably like 20th, something like that, ranked boxer. But then again, it's like, okay, so who's ranking these these boxers? And how are boxers ranked even, like, created? Because now I'm, I'm fucking confused now. Because that's all it did, just create a whole bunch of confusion. And you know why it created confusion? Because it's all money-related. If we, we just came out in the open and said, hey, look, fuck the rankings. The rankings don't really make sense because nobody, none of you guys don't even really fight each other, first of all. Like, if you actually look at the top, rank, the top 10 ranks, most of those guys never fight each other. So how do we know, theoretically, who's better? We're just making up mythical, like, nonsense. Like, because theoretically, how do we know Deontay Wilder is better than Anthony Joshua? They never fight. Who's their common opponent? I, I imagine the common opponent that they both had, they probably both beat. So now are we, are we clarifying based upon uh, whoever had the first, fastest knockout? And then where's that guy ranked? Because I'm pretty sure uh, there's, there's a couple guys down there that, that are still ranked. They've been knocked out by the same guy previously. And it also begs the question... Because Tyson Fury did fight his uh, his retirement fight. I think it's something Chelsea. He beat that guy three times already. Or two times already and fought him the third time and beat that guy. So how the fuck does he get a title shot? Who's that guy beating to be able to clamor to decide that he gets a title shot? See, it's all confusing. That's what I'm saying. Boxing's entire mythology is just fucking very confusing. Because by giving Francis a, a rank, you're basically telling the other guys, hey, look, any unknown guy who's big enough that can guard enough money, he theoretically can fight the champion and then come up and take your spot even if he loses. So now the other boxers look like, what the fuck? Like, how, what, what am I fighting for then? Nothing. You're fighting for money. Like, the, the original idea of what this whole entire spectacle is called, which is prize fighting, which Floyd Mayweather always did have the purpose. Like, I'm a prize fighter, dummy. I'm not a fucking, what are we talking about? This is not a professional sport. It's not a real sport. And the day that boxing decides to make it known that it's not actually a real sport will be the day that boxing will actually flourish. But we keep trying to pretend it's a, a, a sport for some reason. I don't know why. Just make it a fucking free-for-all. The biggest fight instead of actually more interest. The, big, the biggest fight that's the most interesting fight is the fight that makes money. And so, like, yeah, if you want to be a fucking professional boxer, like, if you really want to care about the pure sport, just be in the Olympics forever. Don't ever fucking go pro. What's the point of going pro? You're trying to make money as a pro. I swear, people are dumb. People are really dumb. Like, subscribe, share, please. Thank you.